is how are you this is shocks and this is shocks capture fx so today i want to talk about um one pair one time frame and one setup on daily right so we're going to be using the 75 index which is the volatility 75 and we are going to use this um pair to master derif or to to master v75 per se so remember i said one one setup one pair right so uh this is the pair so the setup that we're looking for is we are looking for a setup that happens around um 2 2 a.m uh gmt plus 2 or it's 2 a.m cat central african time which is uh this dotted line here or not on this uh mt5 uh, from derif right so what we're going to do here is we're going to and to look for price action near this what near this line so number one as you know we are going to be looking for what for a break of market structure which is what you see here and you're going to be looking for a retest of order blocks in that what in that region something like this so this is the setup so the setup is going to uh supposedly develop from uh zero zero gmt which is 2 a.m to around um this is uh, four five so to around four five or seven gmt plus two which is c a t uh time so this is what we're doing so we want to see a break of structure uh a retest of our order block and a bit of time so you have to understand so for those who are using c a t or those who are in gmt plus one gmt plus two you have to be uh kind of awake during what uh, during the night so that you kind of uh, catch this what this trend so number one you want to be looking for a break in the what in the uh over direction then it retest so here we have a break in this direction so number one you have to use or you have to look for a convincing what uh a convincing what break of structure as you can see a break and retest of this one of this breaker right here so this breaker is the one that was uh, retested instead of this what instead of this order block and that um is not what we're looking for <laughs> so that we are looking for a break uh from the previous uh, highs day right so this high is the break that you're looking for or we can consider uh the break from what from uh, let, let's say this break where we have a lot of liquidity um here right so we had a lot of liquidity uh on top of this what uh, the triple tops break and the retest happened uh just after midnight okay let me delete this so that you guys can clearly see what we are going to hear so this would be what your order block right so if you were looking for a break of the high uh, from the last nice um uh, uh, price action which is this one break and you're looking for an order block you'd be looking for this order block or you could have considered order blocks or demand zones in this one in this area and cut the, those one those moves right let's go we are looking for what a break uh from previous um, nice high and low and here we don't have that because uh, this was our high and this was our immediate one and we made it low and price did not come and retest this yeah uh, uh, however price uh printed uh, what an anchor right here so this anchor um was validated by what a break of what a break of this structure and a retest which is what which is this one so this retest here is what was going to uh, get you some bucks on that particular what particular day right on this one we have a break of this what a break of this what a break of this high or we could have considered a break of what this high uh building up to what to to 2 a.m gmt and you could have taken that this what this order block so this is what you are doing we're looking for a break around uh the gmt the 2 a.m um cat time or zero 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 gmt right and we're looking for price action around this one this period separator the dotted line that you see here we are looking for price action around that area and try to um find our trades uh using that so we have a break here 
this is our bread so let's uh, delete this so that we kind of understand what we are going to hear so that we kind of understand what you are going to hear so this was a very straightforward market structure a trade that was developing as price was going so we had a break of structure here to signify the what the the decision to go up right then we had this order block but as you can see this order block was not retested and price went and took out this structure again uh forming what this order block again so this was the ob that was retested and that was the ob that we were going to what to consider so you load up your guns here and wait for price to do uh what it does best move right um then on on this one we had a break of what of this high right break of this high which signified that price was going to go what to go higher or push higher uh this particular what this particular day so this was the what the shift of what market structure of the change of character because if you look at this one price was going down then it took out this high started going what started going up so we don't have order blocks that price could have retested in this area so what are you going to do you're going to wait for uh, worthy order blocks that are going to be uh, to be retested as price is continuing to what to push higher this is what you do when you don't find uh, what you're looking for around the what the zero zero time or the period separator as i said so uh, after this you see this price did not retest this right so we are looking for more order blocks as price is pushing out is pushing higher then we have this order block which was also not retested then we don't have anything here in terms of price breaking what breaking uh structure but we had here price break structure and we had this one uh and it was not retested again so on this day we did not find any trade to talk about right then on this one we had um price breaking or breaking a low like this and we're looking at this particular orb to what to push price down but as you can see price uh, wasn't pushed down so this is just to show you that a, a strategy uh, is not something that you expect uh, to give you 100 percent win rate all the time this is proof of what of what i'm saying so sometimes you are going to be knocked down sometimes you're going to get what to get losses and i know a lot of you guys don't uh enjoy that talk but well i i i, I had to tell you right so we come here and see what price is doing so price uh, breaks this low first it breaks this high and we're looking at what at going up again but uh before we load our guns to go up it breaks another one another low so by breaking that low it sets up this one this order block this is very good why because uh we were already in a what in a downtrend so if price confirms our downtrend like this we take this trade out uh, with uh confidence and absolute um joy introducing d -Rib one-stop shop to trade forex stocks and indices cryptocurrencies commodities and derived indices that include but not limited to volatility 75 v100 boom and crash indices and many more and to top it off you can trade 24 7. weekends are for trading drib is one of the biggest online brokers in the world that offers the following synthetics cfds multipliers options to millions of consumers who have registered all across the world, we provide CFDs and other derivatives on currency, stocks and indices, cryptocurrencies, commodities and derived. Simple, flexible, reliable. Pick from eight effective platforms that were each created with your needs in mind. To benefit and be part of this, go to shockscapital.com and click Start Trading or click the links in the description and pinned comments. break of structure right here break of structure right then we were looking for price to uh come back and retest this or this yellow zone but as you know price doesn't always do what you want it to do so we wait our job is to follow what price is doing and this is what price did breaks and what a high again here and what uh, this was the order block that price was uh, 
was retesting so this was the retest breaks high retest and here we go so this is what you're doing you just have to have uh, the patience to, to to wait for the setups that you're looking for and the setups that you are looking for are printing on our charts uh like that so we have break of structure as you can see we have a very good break of structure and after that we have what we have this order block that price retested and uh you have uh to be uh very brave in terms of uh waiting for these um uh, retracements to what to print and going as you go so this was the break of structure uh this was the ob that price retested and this was the move that you guys were looking for these are the moves uh that uh, you would want to show your friends right <laughs> break of structure right break of structure and we have what we have an order block this was the move and you don't have to be greedy you go for as you know you go for the next one for the next high so this was your your exit point as you would say so this was your exit point or your take profit right we come here again what do you see you see a break of structure uh, right at mid midnight right then you have what you have your order block right here this is your entry point or you could have entered here using this or using this uh candlestick i i, I was avoiding uh calling that an order block because it is not right <laughs> so we have a uh, break of structure break of structure here we could have uh, been involved here by taking this trade down or we could have waited for price to break this go up and break this again and we could have taken uh, that order block or we could have taken this move up after break of structure here right so what you do is you're just following price on the what on the m5 nothing less nothing more so you're just looking for one pair one uh, setup and one price so the setup is break of structure around what around midnight retest of the same order block that would have caused that or if it doesn't come you retest the succeeding order blocks that are to follow right so this is what we are doing this is all we are doing on on, on looking at uh at this right so break of structure to the upside uh after midnight failed right so on midnight we had this break then that so could uh, taken that trade but now we're looking at price reversing the and uh, printing this order block that we could have taken up or we were doing uh this order block so it also depends on what you are looking for and remember you trade what you see not what you believe right trade what you see if you don't see anything on the charts you are not trading so this is where we are and guys i hope this was helpful and this um you need to go back on your charts try to see it for yourself and test it as we go so i'm shocks and i'm out